So this is the default sim view. And you'll all agree. Yeah, Murph, looks nice. Looks very nice. Okay. And then if I turn on reshade, it just gives it that extra bit of oomph. You see the detail on the headrest, for example. You see the shadows really start coming to life and it's sharpening things up. Right? Um, there are subtle little differences. Now, how this works is there's a website called Reshade. It's called reshade.me. All right? And all you need to do, you go on over to Reshade, make sure your sim is turned off, and you download it. Now, this will work for any game. Anyway, you download the gadget. And what you want to do, you can download just the standard app or you can download it with full add-on support. All right? I tend to just download uh, the full add-on support. That's what I grab, right? So when I horse that in there, do I have Reshade already installed? I do. Now, when you start Reshade for the first time, I'll give you a link to this as well, right? Have a read up on Reshade. And there's loads of tutorials, lads, that you can do, all right? There's the link on into the chat there now. So when you download the application, it's going to say, hey, what are you... What's the game or the application that you're using? And if you can't find it, well, you browse to the you browse to the location, yeah. And because we're using Flight Sim, you can't always pick the main application. But in this case, I'll go in to see. Well, where do I have Flight Sim installed? Flight Sim 2024 content. You mightn't be able to pick the main Flight Sim 2024 application. If you can't, use the game launcher one instead. It's the same application, yeah. So once you select that, uh, you'll click next, and then it goes you know, show me its root folder. And then it pops in Reshade. When you start your sim, you're going to be met with a menu that looks like this, all right? And you can move this menu around. You can go messing with it. And it's going to go through the initial uh, uh, set you up. It's going to say, okay, this is what it can do. This is where you save your settings and so on and so forth. All right? Right. Uh, what do we have here? Where's me zoom? So, right, I have a little button here to bring up a magnifying glass. You see that? That's that's using reshade. Now, obviously, I can't use it on the menu system. But, like, there's little things here that you can add into reshade. There's all... These are all called shaders or little filters that you can use. All right? But anyway, what you're met with is the home screen. And with this, in this drop-down on your home screen, the first thing I want you to do is go over to your settings. Because this is where you're you're going to put in some of the controls to get this up and running. Okay? The overlay key. This is where you can set up all your shortcuts. The overlay key for me is when I press the home key in the sim. Home key brings up the menu. And then I have the effect toggle key. I just set it to page up. So whenever I press page up, it'll toggle the effects on or off. Alright? So I can very simply turn them on. Or no, turn them off. So looking at the menu here, it's probably hard to see it. If you look at the menu here, over in the top right hand corner, you have an FPS counter. All right. So the frames are currently running at 107 frames. What if I turn on reshade? They drop to about 90. And this will depend on where you are in the world, what the aircraft is doing and so on and so forth. You also have another option down here that's called performance mode, right? Performance mode will be a little bit lighter on your system. And it depends on what reshade filters you're using right that's going to have an impact on how this will work if you turn off all of them you're getting back to your maximum speed if you only want to turn on one of them you know or use them one by one your mileage is going to vary all right so inside your settings make sure you've set up home and uh page up they're just the keys i use and if you're ever stuck well that's what you use right you can do screenshots you can change the overlay you can change the fps counter where it is left or right what color it is right so i'm going to change that color because i can never see the shagging thing so if we go to like you know this green color yeah now you can see it's gone to this green color over there right you can do all this messing around you can make that bigger if you need to you know what i mean like you, you, it's, it's it's old school kind of messing around but you can see what the crack is right now, in order to get this working, you need to tell Reshade what preset you want to load. And it's going to ask you, hey, where is uh, where is this stuff, right? Where is the filters? Okay. So 
you go into your root folder for your for your flight sim. So in my case, it's going to be in, you know, local disk, Xbox games, flight sim 24, content. That's where my flight sim lives, all right? And in here, you're going to have a new uh, reshade shaders. You're going to have a folder. Or you're going to have uh, what they call the DLL files and your DGI X files. These are the files that automatically go in there when you install reshade. You'll see it. Come down here, you know, reshade. Yeah? Okay. There's a folder in here then that says it's called uh, Reshade. And if you go into the shaders, these are all the different shaders that are running that you've installed or that you've downloaded, right? And if you do the, uh, you know, the, the maximum supported version of Reshade, well, that's where they are. And then if there's any textures, well, that's how it's able to make this work. And you can edit some of these. I mean, you can really go in there and edit them, all right? That's all grand. If you then go into, you can add a folder, right? So there's one, there's one over here uh, on flightsim.to I'll show you. Because this, this is the base, um, this is the base reshade that I use, okay? So I'll show you this. Uh, let me see, reshade. And I have to give a shout out to the guy who made this preset because it is damn good. I just need to find it here now. There we go. And I'll give you a link to this as well, lads, right? So over on flightsim.to, this is called the Sealed Sky Reshade Profile. And this guy will explain to you how to install it. This is what you do. This is how you make it work. Download it, run the installer, choose DirectX 10, 11, or 12, select all shaders, place the Sealed Sky preset into the same folder as the Simulator ZXE, i.e. your root folder, launch the sim, press home to open Reshade, and then complete the tutorial. In the Reshade menu, click the preset, drop down, select Sealed Sky, and apply. That's it. That's all it is, right? And there we have it now. And this loads in, and it loads in the filter, or load in the preset, and that's now up and running. All right? Are we happy enough so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it works, right? Now, if you would like my my version, which I've tweaked, yeah, I have made some tweaks. If you rumble on over to our Discord, and if you come down to our flight sim section, sim help support, and click on Murph's MSFS settings. Down at the very bottom of this, here is my reshade file. Download that reshade file and pop it into the same folder where you have your sealed sky preset. Because when you down when you download the C the sealed sky preset uh, from flightsim.to, they're gonna tell you, put that folder inside your root folder. There it is. You'll have the preset. There's sealed sky, and there's my one TTM. Drag and drop. Back inside your sim, bring up the menu, click on the drop down, yeah? And we're gonna select the TTM oh, and select. Jesus. Give that a second to load up. And now you're using my preset. And I have other buttons assigned. They're just like shortcut buttons. I'm using a stream deck over here in the corner. So you can do this inside of your, uh, inside the options. I have these buttons and I've set them up as, it's just a system hotkey, control, alt, and one. Control, Alt, and 2. Control, Alt, and 3. And so on and so on, right? That's what I use on my stream deck. And in order to do this, if you right-click any of these filters that you've turned on, or a group of them, you right-click and see this? Click to select keyboard shortcut. Click in there, put in your uh, keybind, whatever it's going to be, and then just tell your stream deck, hey, that's the one I'm going to use, right? So... What does that mean for me? Well, it means I can do this sort of stuff by using different filters because I've assigned them to hotkeys. Make sense? And there's hundreds of different filters. You can play around with it. Have a bit of have a bit of crack with them. You know what I mean? You know, night vision. We can go for this one. This took me too long to make. Right? If you want to have night vision in your sim just for the sheer crack of it. I also have this kind of nice bloom effect. It makes it beautiful at night time. And I'll show, you the, I'll show you the difference, lads, right? If you're looking at the sim at night time, it's amazing what one little filter can do, right? I don't know. So give us a bit of a... Uh... Come on over here, look. Like, it's amazing 
what a little bit of filter and a little bit of light can do, yeah? So here's like your normal nighttime scene in the sim. And then if I turn on my bloom effect, see that difference? See how punchy that's, that's made? All, like, do you see the difference of detail? And it's so subtle, you know? Night step, if you have a better way of doing it, let us know. But that's, I'm just going by the way I know. Do you know what I mean? If it's, if, if, if my way is complicated, that makes a lot of sense. I'm, I overcomplicate everything. But if there's an easier way to do it, I'm all ears, man. I'm all ears. Let us know on Discord. You can see the difference, yeah? Like, put it this way. That's what reshade turned off in its entirety, okay? That's reshade turned on using my default preset. And then I have a button for bloom, uh, specifically for nighttime, and it's now that screen. Can you see how much you can change the dynamics of how the sim is looking? And you're not messing with the same engine, you're using reshade, right? There is a performance impact, of course there is. But it's a one stop, one set. You never need to worry about doing it again. Reshade often needs updates. The sim updates. Reshade will need an update. But it's going to remember your settings. What do you think? Handy? Not handy? You'll never use it. You'll always use it. And there's some mad freaking filters you can get. This one here is like, you know, an 80s gun uh, camera from an airplane. Wait you see this load up. Like, what? That's flight simulator. That's how it's looking on my screen. It's like a, a right? You can do mad stuff. Oh, Jesus. It's mad. No. It'd almost be worth buying Murphy a ticket to come over here and completely program my sim and extra stuff. <laughs> VHS sim, yeah, yeah. But you can do all of this using reshade. The option is yours. You, you don't need to do this at all. Just I've been asked the question, Murph, how do you get the stuff work looking like that? This is how I do it. And as I said, if there's... Oh, balls. If there are easier ways to do it, absolutely. I only know my way. I can't tell you someone else's way. This is just, this is what I do. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, as I said, like if night step, if, if, if there is an easier way, like I learn from that as well. Do you know what I mean? All right. And then if you want to go daytime, you can do all sorts of different filters, but like you can really make a punch. Like go for this time of the day. And add that bloom effect in as well. Like, it, it just it punches the whole scene. You know what I mean? In the reshade setup, which boxes do I tick? Sorry, can you be more specific? So, the link I just gave you for the uh, flightsim.to file, the seal sky preset, just follow his instructions there. Yeah? Because that'll tell you what way to set it up. But anyway, lads, that's reshade. Have we any questions? Are we all happy? Not happy? Terrified? Not terrified? What do you reckon? This one here, the boxes that you're tipping or ticking, just 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 insert my um, just insert the template from Discord. These are automatically activated for you, you know. And like, look, this you click on them, you see the the screen will change straight away when or the screen will change straight away when you start messing with different filters. Yeah. Find what works for you. This is what works for me. Do you know? Slant Alpha, good to see it. Yeah, it's like, you know, <laughs> bring it back to the way it was in the 80s. We're not ready for this new fancy 4K, you know. That's quite nice there, look. Look at the differences you can make. Isn't it gorgeous? Uh, post my sentence in Discord. Yeah, drop them into the... Um, Drop them into the, whatchamacallit, into the, uh, into the sim health support, if you can, Night Zep, even under mine. Do you know, if you go into my settings, just drop it in there, because if there's an easier way, it, it, we love the easier way. Do you know, wherever you drop them, we can move them after that, but appreciate that. Uh, I set it up the weekend for ETS. Yeah, it looks grand. Yeah, you can use it on other games. You can use it on other games, lads. You know what I mean? Um, but that's what, that's what I use it for. All right. Reload the TTM one, switching to Seal Sky, or it'll switch to the TTM one, whatever one you prefer. All right? Lovely hurdling. 